In the mechanical engineering field lathe machine plays an important role in manufacturing. In this article, I am going to discuss the lathe machine in detail. Definition of lathe machine The machine tool that used to remove unwanted metals from the workpiece to give the desired shape and size so called lathe machine. Lathe machine is also known as center lathe because of two centers between which the job can be held and rotated. Functions of lathe machine The main function of lathe machine is to remove excess material in the form of chips by rotating the workpiece against a stationary cutting tool. This is accomplished by holding the work securely and rigidly on the machine and then turning it against cutting tool which will remove metal from the work. To cut the material properly the tool should be harder than the material of the workpiece should be rigidly held on the machine and should be fed or progress in a definite way relative to the work. Main Parts of Lathe Machine Working Principle of Lathe Machine a lathe is a machine tool which used to remove unwanted materials from a workpiece in the form of chips with the help of a tool that travels across the workpiece and can be fed deep in work. When the tool is moved parallel to the workpiece then the cylindrical surface is formed. Operations of Lathe Machine Turning is the operation of reducing the diameter of a workpiece to produce a cone-shaped or a cylindrical surface as shown in figure above. A simple single point cutting tools are used for turning operations. Turning can be different types like tapers and taper turning, straight turning, profiling, external grooving. Facing is an operation of reducing the length of the workpiece to produce a flat surface square with the axis. A regular turning tool may also be using for facing a large workpiece. Drilling is an operation of producing a cylindrical hole in a workpiece by the rotating cutting edge of a cutter known as the drill. Boring is the operation of enlarge a hole or cylindrical cavity to produce circular internal grooves. Boring holes may be bore straight and tapered. Knurling is the process of embossing a diamond-shaped pattern on the surface of the workpiece. The purpose of knurling is to provide an effective gripping surface on a workpiece to prevent it from slipping when operated by hand. Chamfering is the operation of beveling the extreme end of a workpiece. This is done to remove the burrs, to protect the end of the workpiece from being damaged and to have a better look. Parting is the operation of cutting a workpiece after it has been machining to the desired size and shape. This process involves rotating the workpiece on a chuck or face plate at half the speed that of turning and feeding by a narrow parting, off tool perpendicular to the axis by rotating the cross slide screw by hand. Threading is operations to produce a helical groove on a cylindrical or conical surface by feeding the tool longitudinally when the job is revolved between centers or by a chuck. Threads can be produced either on internal or external surface of a cylindrical bar. Forming is the process of turning a convex, concave or of any irregular shape. Thank you for watching. Please support us with like, share and subscribe.